Now that you are registered and ready to use Schoology, the Round Rock ISD parent team is here to show you how to get around. After logging in, you'll land on the home screen. The first time you log in, you'll default to your own parent account as indicated by your name in the upper right hand corner. You might see updates from Round Rock ISD here, and if you are personally a member of a group such as PTA or a booster club, there may be updates and information as well. To view information specific to one of your children, click your name in the upper right corner and toggle down to select your child. You are now viewing the Schoology courses, groups, and updates that your child sees. However, you as a parent are simply viewing this information and are not able to act as your child in the courses. Your child must first log in as themselves to engage with the content. Your first stop in your child's Schoology overview is the feed. If you don't land on the student activity feed by default, you can easily toggle from the top of the screen. In the student activity feed, you will see posts made by people in the courses and groups your child is a part of, as well as school-wide announcements for things such as device pickup, fundraisers, or spirit week. Click Courses in the top menu to review a list of courses your child is a member of, or toggle to the Enrollments view to see your child's current grade if they are recorded in Schoology. Click on a course title to see the complete course content, or to review items listed in the upcoming area. Click on an assignment title to jump directly to content with due dates in the near future. Overdue items are also listed on this screen. Overdue items are course materials whose due date has passed and the student did not submit anything. Review work and see grade information for items your child submitted. Select the material type in the recent grades area and select a specific item. You now see the item in the course. Read the description including requirements written by the teacher and click on the student's submission to see the content. If your child is a member of a group that meets outside of normal classes, such as a club, extracurricular activity, or sports team, click Groups in the top right menu. Remember, you are only viewing the content of your child's courses and groups. Your child will need to log in him or herself in order to see the option to participate in discussions, make assignment submissions, and complete assessments.